here I am in my Windows machine, and as you can see, Brackets is installed here. And what I want to show you is I want to actually open up Brackets from the command line, and I want to open up Brackets with a specific folder in mind. So I'm going to open up Git Bash here, and I want to change directories into the desktop. Then, as you can see here in desktop, we have that project called App. So I'm going to do Brackets, App. And this goes ahead and opens up brackets with the app folder uh, opened up with the different files here. And that's all there is to opening up brackets with the command line. But I want to show you here, I want to go and I want to go another step further here and show you how this is actually working. I'm going to go back into here, right click computer, click properties, and I'm going to go under advanced system settings, and I'm going to go environment variables, and I want to select the path variable for the system. I'm going to click edit. I'm going to copy this content here. Cancel this, cancel this, cancel this. Open up brackets here. Paste this in here. And I want to do, I want to select all the colons, semicolons. And as you can see, I, I select all the semicolons and I hit enter on my keyboard. And this went ahead and, and put each other one on the line. And what Windows is doing, Windows is going over this list of items and checking if the the program is available for it to be used through the command line. So as you can see, it's going to System 32, it's going to all these different, it's going to Windows PowerShell. But the one that we're most interested here is this line right here, the very last line, line 9. And as you can see, it's actually going to this folder, C program files, brackets, command. And it's checking inside this folder to see if there's an executable. Now I'm gonna click don't save on this. And I'm gonna go into the explorer here. I'm gonna paste that in there. And as you can see, there it is, there's the executable. So when you say brackets on the command line, the command line goes, okay, where do you want me to look for this? You don't really tell it, so it goes to that path file. It starts looking through each of those paths. Hey, is there a brackets file in here? No. It goes to the next one. Is there a brackets file here? No. It goes to the next one. Is there a brackets file here on? So on, so forth, until it gets to the very end. Then it finds the brackets file, and then it'll be able to, to finally go ahead and execute that binary file here, as you can see. And that's all there is to opening up a, a folder with the command line using Windows.